to begin the repujado, the metal tooling, I am looking at some different pattern, line patterns, and I am going to do um, a line pattern on this square, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So in each of the squares, um, I'm just going to draw some simple line designs that will be interesting to trace over. Now I'm going to cut out the outside of this design because this is going to be the same size as our cardboard. Okay, I have pre-cut pieces of cardboard and metal for you. The metal, you can choose either the silver side or a copper side. I'm gonna choose silver, and I'm gonna lay it underneath the cardboard here, and use a pair of scissors to just carefully cut a little slit in the metal, which is gonna make it lay flat when I fold the metal over. Now, be careful, because the metal can be kind of sharp, when you are um, touching it and folding it. So I'm gonna just fold the top, the bottom, and the sides, and then just try to kind of tuck those corners in real well. Okay, it's nice and smooth, and don't forget to put your name on the back along with your class code. Okay, take a bit of painter's tape and you're gonna tape your design on top of the metal very gently. And you're gonna use a ballpoint pen to start tracing over the lines. Okay, once you have everything traced, you can use an embossing tool to kind of press those lines in a little bit more um, firmly and um, make them show up just a little bit better. Then you can use colorful Sharpies to add the color in um, different sections. I am trying to keep in mind, um, kind of keeping my designs um, symmetrical from each other so where I'm gonna draw red on one side I'm gonna do the same thing on the other
Okay, and with Dia de los Muertos um, quickly approaching, you could also choose to make a sugar skull design if you would like to. I am starting by drawing out some designs on the skull and adding, again, some um, symmetrical design, so trying to make it even, like what I do on one side, I do on the other. And then we will trace the... Um, size of the cardboard on top of the paper so that we can cut it out to fit that size. Again, very carefully, I'm going to tape the design onto my foil, being gentle so I'm not making any marks on the foil that I don't want. I'll use a ballpoint pen and trace over the outline of the skull as well as the designs. Okay, again, once you've got the design in place, you can use the metal embossing tools to kind of um, firm up your lines or make some of them a little bit deeper or thicker. And then once you're finished doing that, you can start to color.